Hey, it's Kevin. Welcome back to The Road Warrior. Saw something that, well, to me, especially as a baby boomer, was kind of sad the other day. They announced more closings for the combined Kmart and Sears group. And it looks like in the next month or so, month or two, there are only going to be roughly 20 Kmarts left in America and maybe 30 Sears. And I think it's actually like 21 and 29 or something like that. I'm forgetting the numbers off the top of my head. But it just kind of shocked me because I remember growing up, everybody had the Sears catalog. Everybody shopped at Sears. In my world, in the small little Midwestern town I grew up in, spent most of my formative years in, Sears and J.C. Penney were the big stores. You got the catalogs. You knew everything in their stores. They were, they were big box stores. I know they were a combination big box store, department store, before that category existed. And then a couple of years, probably, what, 1969, 1970, Kmart moved into town. And everybody shopped at Kmart because of the prices, because of the variety, because of what they offered. And I was shopping at Kmart here in Nashville until they closed those down a couple of two, three years ago. I've lost track now. Now, they had fallen far, far, far down the way. They were in horrible shape. The, the items they had, the selection and service was just awful. But they had a couple of things at Kmart that I couldn't find anywhere else, like the Kleenex I buy. They had it, they had the dial soap that I buy, and they were the only place in town that had it. To buy my dial soap, now I have to travel to Kentucky to a Meyer store because they carry that brand I've been buying for decades. And it's just kind of sad. It's kind of, well, I realize times change, business change, but if you were to tell me that, well, number one, Sears and Kmart would merge, I would have been shocked. And number two, if you were to tell me that either one or both of them would fall away, I'd be even more shocked. Yeah, the big do fail if they don't come today, if they don't update themselves, and I think both Sears and Kmart and all those stores failed during the internet age because they didn't jump on what became the World Wide Web fast enough. They didn't embrace it like a Walmart did. They didn't embrace it like other companies did. And I think JCPenney is the last of that struggling breed where they're hanging on for dear life and they've tried to go more online, but it's it's not the same. Most of the Sears that will be left will be like their Sears hardware, their Sears home centrals, and very few actual Sears stores. In fact, my wife told me the other day she read something in, I think, the Chicago Tribune that Sears was closing its final Illinois outlet. This was a company, you know, with a big Sears tower in Chicago, originally based in, in Chicago that was closing its final Illinois outlet. It was kind of sad and kind of disappointing and kind of a reminder how the mighty can fall. Now, I realize, you know, the mighty were beaten by another mighty giant like Walmart, but if you don't stay on top of things, if you don't think ahead, you're going to pay the price. Something no matter how big you are, how small you are like me, you, you think about. You always have to be nimble. You always have to adjust and prepare and to move. It's almost like those who didn't embrace the internet now or have fallen so far behind. And, and kids need to be able to learn on the internet and all those kinds of things. And it's it's sad. It really is. It's sad for me more from a nostalgia stake in all honesty because I, I don't know if I have any Sears or Kmart products left in my house that I've had for decades. Very sad indeed. Back next week, another Road Warrior, KevinMason.us, our website, home to all the 400 plus episodes of... of the Road Warrior. Also, find us on Facebook. Also, find us on YouTube. Again, love it when you're here. Love it when you tell a friend. Love it when you keep on coming back, even for just a few minutes. We'll see you next week. Less nostalgia, perhaps. Who knows? Hard to say. See you next week. Thanks.